The wind vane and anemometer go at the top of the mast where they feel the airflow. The vane on top turns to point in the same direction the wind is coming from, while the cups on the anemometer down below spin at a rate that depends on the speed of the wind. The speed and depth transducer goes through the hull and into contact with the water, spinning the little paddle wheel. Putting the instrument leads on the scope lets us see what's going on, like this square wave that comes from the little paddle wheel. The faster it spins, the shorter the pulses. Each sonar ping lasts about two-thirds of a millisecond. Stretching things out in time, we see the sinusoidal variations at about 200 kilohertz. The longer it takes for an echo to come back, the deeper the water. This trace is connected to the yellow wire on the wind vane. Spinning the anemometer leads to a series of irregularly shaped pulses. The farther apart the pulses, the slower the anemometer is turning. I'll spin it again with my fingers. You can see they start spaced really close together in time and stretch out as the uh, anemometer slows down. The wind direction sensor on the wind vane puts out just a continuous analog signal that doesn't show much change if we put it on the scope.